All right, guys, one of the things I want to talk to you about in today's video is a tool that we all use and a lot of times we overlook it, and that is the pocket screwdriver. So that's going to be the discussion in today's video, so let's get into it. All right, like I said in the intro, guys, um, many times we overlook the fact of how important a pocket screwdriver is to each one of us and how many times every day that we grab it to use it. It provides many really good functions other than just being super handy, from pulling out fuses to prying up plastic pieces to doing clips and unplugging wires or whatever, not to mention it has a magnet on it where we can pick up stuff. As you can see, this is an older pocket screwdriver. The magnet works on it. It's just not super strong. One of the good things that I found recently is the Pride screwdriver that Mac has. As you see, this one has the curved end on it, but there is some major flaws with this, and I'll explain them what I think is the flaws in this video. For one, they put the pocket clip on this side. The pocket clip really needs to be on this side because when you got in your pocket and you're leaning like against a topside creeper, the curved part digs into your chest. That'd be an easy fix by removing the clip and putting it on the other side. Two, if you pick up things like we'll pick up tires or whatever to reinstall them back on the vehicle from a brake job with it being on the lift, it's going to dig into you. So if you grab stuff, it's going to get you. If you got it in your side pocket, because we wear cargo pants here at work, and it will dig into your leg if you're laying on a creeper and roll over, and that could easily been avoided by putting it on the other side. Another thing, there's no magnet on it. So I still have to keep using my old magnetic pocket screwdriver. I think this is a far superior pocket screwdriver, but then again, with the defects it has, I still have to use my old go-to. So in some discussions, I had a friend that I just met through the internet, through our YouTube channel, Joe Enriquez, he actually come up with this whole screwdriver and he added a 3 16 magnet on the end of it. And he added it and sent it to me. And this is one of the cool little packages that he did with it. You can see he is from South Jersey and it's packed in Corona free South Jersey. With a smiley face, I thought that was pretty cool. But what he did with this pocket screwdriver, let me get it open here and, um, I'll show you guys what he did. And here is the part number for it if you guys want to pick up one. It's PNC or PN2C, sorry, by Mac. But what he did in the end of it was he drilled in and put a 3 16th rare earth magnet in there. And it's extremely strong. As you guys can see, it's way stronger than the regular magnet on the pocket screwdrivers. So Joe kind of made a great product even better by adding a magnet. So now if we can get the company that builds these for Mac or Mac themselves to get the pocket clip moved on the other side, we'll have a perfect screwdriver. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, Joe was a super cool guy and, um, you know, through the brilliance of the internet and how awesome it is to communicate with each other. He came up with this idea. I thought it was super cool and I wanted to share it with you guys and you can see how well it looks. I mean, it looks factory. So it's a really great deal. Thanks Joe for sending that. But I did want to share that with you guys and that way you can kind of make something a little bit better than what it is. But anyway, guys, we all use pocket screwdrivers. We all love pocket screwdrivers. We all need pocket screwdrivers. And this is just something that kind of puts it in a better position for you to use daily. Anyway, guys, that's the video today. Hopefully you liked it. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. It's totally free. You'll never know what kind of cool stuff you'll see on this channel, just like this. But anyway, y'all have a great one, and we'll catch y'all next time.